Hey guys, thank you for joining us for a late night edition of Screen Junkies News. I am Roth Cornett, and guess what just happened? The Spider-Man Homecoming trailers, that's right, mm -hmm. domestic and international, just dropped. And so I found the world's biggest Marvel experts to join me to break it down. <laughs> that's right, Matt Key, <laughs> the Matt Key, and Markeia McCarty. Thank you guys so much for being with us. It's 10 o'clock at night. Over on the social cam, we have our producer, Justin Lamb. He's going to keep you, keeping an eye on things. So if you guys have questions and comments, please do chime in. Guys, let's fire up trailer number one, which is the domestic trailer. Take a look, and then we'll go back and look at the international to see the few shots that are a little bit different. Fired up, Sounds Jonathan. Good. Here we go. Okay. So we saw this teaser come out yesterday, yes? Well, yeah, the little six-second yeah. teaser yeah. where we, we saw the, the POV camera, which interesting yeah. to know, we didn't see that. At all, we didn't see any Happy Hogan or nope. John Favreau. Yeah, no, nope. oh, that's okay because we already saw it. Oh no, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I just I was expecting to see that at some point in the trailer because mm -hmm. the whole POV thing was, I thought was very interesting. Yeah, yeah. choice of you, like shots, you know. So yeah, I like that they were using it as a, a marketing uh, thing as opposed to. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not sure how much I would enjoy it in the actual film itself. Yeah, because I just love how it is as it I is. I, it I don't is, yeah. I don't necessarily need any POV. Yeah. And if we continue, this is Washington. We're going to talk about this a little bit down as we continue forward. They appear to be, they are on a school trip in Washington. Obviously, we saw yesterday the web wings were revealed. How do you guys feel about that? We didn't even talk about that. Wait, the web wings? Yeah. Oh, my God. I am <laughs> so super sweet. excited about the web wings. Yes. The web wings are like a callback to, you know, the original Amazing Fantasy and all the Dicko stuff. Like, mm -hmm. he had the web wings forever in, the, in those early runs, and... Seeing that is just like so like it's yeah. and, and let's just talk about the practicality of it. Uh, we're gonna get some real serious gliding action going on. And some don't you feel like <laughs> oh, was it that was, a <laughs> because don't you feel like it was it's there a little bit in terms of the villain? He's gonna fight the vulture. This maybe is gonna give us an opportunity to see some like bad can I curse? Bad A um, <laughs> air fights. I don't even know if I can curse them. B B it's my damn B A. B -A. B.A. Baracus. B.A. <laughs> Baracus air fights. So let's go back to the trailer. Let's look right here at this shot, guys. Oh, uh, uh, yes. Because we know uh, the Tinkerer uh, is part of uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, um, played by mm -hmm. Michael Chernus. And this this looks like a beautiful piece of machinery that is built by the Tinkerer mm -hmm. and uh, something that Matt like pointed out earlier uh, with the, the oh, well, technology. It, it just looks probably. like it looks like uh, criminals around the neighborhood. Uh, around the city are starting to utilize the tech of this mm. tinkerer fellow, mm -hmm. um, and Spider-Man is is on the case to, using a to stop Shiara it. Technology. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's a that's a rumor from earlier this year that Shatari technology Shatari. is involved with the Vulture, that the Tinkerer has found a way to utilize the Shatari technology. And think about it. I mean, mm -hmm. with this escalation of force that's happening with these um, these street-level thugs mm -hmm. to then, you know, become mm -hmm. to the status of supervillains, of course there has to be, like, yeah. that that alien uh, duax machina that oh, happened for You know what? I just, I just now remembered this. Sorry that I hadn't prepared for this. Uh, ah. uh, the Tinkerer, in his very first appearance in Spider-Man 2, was thought to be an alien. Ooh. And like he was working in the bottom of this basement of like the Tinkerer's workshop, which was like it was like a fix-it shop or something like that. And Spider-Man goes to investigate and discovers that there's aliens down there helping him put this weird technology into radios. Oh, this works so well together. And yeah. then then it turns out he's not an alien, but mm -hmm. he was working with them. They were masked or whatever. Like I can't actually remember 100, percent but like. Makes that, perfect sense. Perfect, yeah. but also, it makes nice. perfect sense with what they've set up in terms of the MCU. And by this point, I think even the general audience, and there will be some crossover here, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. will have some familiarity with this. If we keep moving forward, if right, because we have to assume that the Battle of New York took place for them as well, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, of world. course so it did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, that's post the cool thing about this connection. Yeah. yeah. Post the incident, obviously. Yeah. yeah this is post incident. Good way yeah. to say it. Yeah. And and again, we see like. Some pretty sophisticated tech. It's it's so, highly doubtful that the robbers built it. They probably yeah. bought it from the t tinkerer. I bet that's what we're seeing right exactly. here. Exactly. And then think about it. Um, these cannot be masterminds. They're breaking into ATMs. Yeah, they're they breaking into ATMs with laser saws. Like, yeah, you can do a lot more than break into an ATM with a laser saw. But that's what these guys are that's, doing. Yeah, that's they didn't their, even what, choose to do the the smart sort of. I mean, yeah, in all of At least New York, go the you want to go. Mm -hmm. You want to go to the, the ATM in the subway where anyone can see you. I don't yeah. know if they're in the subway. Actually, I think they are. No, it looks no, like they're, they're street level. They're just like a street, street like a, a little bitty street. Yeah, because we saw. Uh, like a little bit later so on, you see uh, there's a poster that says a identity bit. theft. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jonathan, we can keep moving forward. Thank you, guys. 
You guys are doing yeah. awesome. <laughs> Right. Oh, yeah, man. so they're robbing so, a series of ATMs, and what's back there in that poster? It says identity theft. Yeah, it says identity theft, be protected or something like yeah. that. But <laughs> I, I would like to say, like, we, we talked about this on our Marvel show on, on Tuesday, mm -hmm. the Lego sets. Yes. Legos, yes. by the way, Legos, nine times out of ten, will spoil <laughs> one to two scenes in a movie a yeah. year in advance. Yes. And they have a set coming out that was described as a bank robbery mm -hmm. with Spider-Man and uh, three or four other guy, other robbers, but they're all dressed as other Avengers, and then sure enough. Yeah, kind of like Point Break with like the, yeah, uh, the presidents. Next presidents yep. By the way, nice Point Break call out. Oh. <laughs> I enjoy that. Um, if we keep, if we go back to the trailer, Jonathan, thanks so much. Jonathan, you are the best. Jonathan's our engineer and he's the best. He's yes. the best, he's hanging out with us late at night. Thank you so much, and you guys are the best for being here late at night, thank you so much again. <laughs> um, so they are, as we mentioned, dressed up as the Avengers, and I think you really start to get the feel of Spider-Man the guy um, that's the Hulk. I'm sorry, yeah. but he's just no, like, no, no. what? He's what? like, he's trying to embody it. <laughs> This is him. This is the the Spider Man. This is the Peter Parker that I think a lot of people yeah. have been wanting mm -hmm. to see, right? Because yeah. the yeah. jokes here and Tom Holland's performance is so natural. It feels like him. It mm -hmm. feels very natural. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it feels age appropriate. Well, it feels awkward. It feels awesome. And two two things I want to point out just from this. Uh, first of all, Sony cannot afford to get Hemsworth, Ruffalo, yeah, yeah, like Chris Evans, like they. That's a bigger, bigger, bigger movie. Yeah. But this is them having fun with that license. <laughs> this is yeah. them having fun with, hey, we're in the MCU. We can actually have these characters in the Sony movie now, uh, which I think is cool. Also, this sets up what we're going to see later in the trailer, uh, that Tony Stark is trying to help Peter Parker out. But right. what we're seeing here is... Uh, you can't handle bigger villains. Like, yeah, like take this, care of the bank this robbers. This is you. So yeah. the, do the street level. Yeah, you you're know? a street level guy. Take yeah. care of the bank robbers. It's, but Spider Man's like, I want to be an Avenger. Yeah. I took yeah, down like, Giant Man. It's like, I was part of Civil War. Yeah, exactly. It's like, I can exactly, do it. Exactly. <laughs> and if we go for it just a little bit, we're going to see some of that interaction. Yeah. And this is sweet. That line, Hulk, oh, Hulk gives yeah. it away. It's such a good <laughs> line. And the dodging of the spider sense. Yeah. And then the eyes. There they go. Oh, the lo I love the eyes. Oh, I yes. I love the eyes. And it's such a smart way to play with that, to give him emotion in a mask. Mm -hmm. I also weirdly yeah. like the fact that they're breaking into these ATMs and then it just goes straight to a school locker, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know oh, why. Yeah. There's something really, about yeah, that juxtaposition, juxtaposition that I love. So let's stop right here. Uh, this is Liz Allen, uh, played by uh, Laura, I'm going to say this Harrier? one, Harrier. I think it's yeah, Harrier. Laura yeah, Laura Harrier. Uh, yeah, and I, I just love how... This looks like something out of a real American high school where it's just like they're sitting there. It's a little bit awkward. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, it's it's so relatable and it's so, yes, mm -hmm. this is right here at my heart. Yeah. And I love that. I love that not everybody looks like, I, okay, 90210, great. I, I like 90210. Mm -hmm. This is not 90210. This is Peter Parker's high school. And yeah. this is fantastic. This is mid Midtown. Midtown. High. Yeah, and yeah. I think they're making it like a... A science and math magnet school. Like I feel yeah. like that's what yeah. they're doing. In the I see the math school. leads. You feel you that math. I went to one of those. Did you really? There yeah, you well, in New York. Right I went here. to Bronx yeah. Science in New York. Um, uh, that's so funny. I actually didn't know that. That's, yeah. a, that's I really think that's fun. what they're doing. I, I don't that know for sure. That makes perfect sense. Uh, yeah, in the next to him. Uh, yeah. Well, Liz also. Allen, by the way, in the comics, if you don't know this, was one of uh, Peter Parker's first girlfriends, or like at least a love interest, I think. So back over there, being snarky. Is our is Michelle, Zen, is Michelle played, Zendaya? Played by Zendaya. Zendaya, yeah. yeah. And then um, right next to Peter uh, is Jacob Badalin. Uh, he's a uh, Ned Leeds playing Ned Leeds, who yeah. interesting uh, goes on to become one of the twenty thousand incarnations of, of the Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin. <laughs> Everyone uh, is Hobgoblin. Yeah, like it, fifty percent of New York at one point has been Hobgoblin. Yes, <laughs> Ned Leeds is one of those. 50%. Yeah, I think there's a Hobgoblin union at this point. <laughs> <laughs> the Hobgoblin 1299, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way, you had an interesting theory on Michelle. Yes, uh, because there there was uh, all that thing where um, at first uh, with Zendaya, it was, um, oh, Zendaya's Mary Jane. Oh, yeah, she'd make a great Mary, Mary Jane. Yeah, you know, it's great. spunky and da da da. And then there was a little bit of backlash with that. And then it turned out that she was Michelle. And I'm like, well, how about she is Mary Jane, but Mary Jane is a stage name. So as her character develops, mm -hmm. Mary mm -hmm. she she's Mary Jane, but she's not Mary Jane yet. Yeah. So Which I, I like. Fun theory. I think that's a great theory. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. if we continue on, and then the other thing that they've talked about quite a bit, that this is sort of like, and I think you can even see the difference in the U.S. trailer versus the international trailer. This is... Well, we'll stop here and talk about this a little bit, but this is sort of John Hughes meets a 
superhero movie, which yeah. I think is mm-hmm. so cool. And you get that, that feel in yeah. this trailer. And that's, and that's, I mean, that's what John Watts has talked about, the director. Yeah. Um, John uh, Watts, who also directed Cop Car, we've talked about this the other day, but you should see it if you haven't. I, I have not, but <laughs> I worked, I worked with uh, John for a couple of years, and he's like the nicest guy, super funny. Like when 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 I found out he was up for the running, I was like, wait, are they doing Spider Man as a comedy? Because he's a really funny guy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm yeah. sure he did a great job because he's like, a, he's a really good guy. So but even like the music, mm, the yeah. music yeah. is completely different. Uh, I forget it was a uh, A to Z, uh, MGMT, time, MGMT time, time to pretend. Time to yeah. pretend. So yeah. if we if we look a little bit, and I think that I don't know if you guys agree. I think obviously the chemistry between these two in Civil War was mm-hmm. so off the charts, oh, and it's yeah. so yeah. great to see. I wonder how big of a role Downey is going to have in the movie on the whole. We see him and we see Iron Man quite a little bit in these trailers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, me and Matt disagree on how much we're gonna we're gonna actually see. Uh, I think I think yeah, there's a there's a gray area where we agree. Yeah, I think that yeah. you and I both agree that he is a very major presence in the film. Yes, I'm seeing a father figure type, father yeah. slash uncle <laughs> Yeah, Yeah, because he doesn't have type. one of those figures. Yeah, yeah but uh, I, I don't believe he's going to be in it a lot. I'm thinking eh, maybe four or five scenes stops. Yeah, I well, ultimately, like I, I think he'll have at least five. Um, but I think he'll have between like five, seven, eight. I think there will be a lot of voiceover. Oh, yeah, um, I, I can see ADR for Like, it. phone calls, because he's got the tech in his gauntlets and everything. Like, mm-hmm. I think there will be a lot of phone calls with him and stuff like that. So, um, I think there's definitely a presence, because, like, we, well, we'll get to that later on. And we on can keep going yeah. with the yeah. trailer as, we, I, as I just, we talk this out, because, yeah, yeah I mean, I do, I want to hear what you guys have to say. It's, it feels mm-hmm. to me like this is this mentor-mentee relationship yeah. where Peter's yes. going to start to feel too constrained by it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I kind of see it as um, uh, he's kind of an obstacle in a little way. I see his totally Peter Parker story as in Peter Parker, not Spider-Man. Yeah. And that he's just kind of a semi-frustrating obstacle mm-hmm. where he's like, hey, you're too young, just stop. You're not an Avenger. Yeah. yeah. You're not, you know, auditioning yeah, you're not for an Avenger Avengers. Yet. You're not an Avenger. And then yeah. we want to talk about he's watching himself here. And it's got to mm-hmm. be, can you imagine when you're in high school and you're so insecure um, and, and you just... You have this ability that no one else has and everyone's impressed by, and you can't tell them. He's just sitting here in class watching himself be amazing. And you just know that everyone around him has watched that video a thousand times. They're all just as impressed, Mm -hmm. and he is like burning inside to be like, (laughs) I'm Spider-Man, and I'm cool, and you should like me, Liz Allen. But he can't. He can't. In fact, he gets in trouble. You're like, yeah. are you with us, Mr. Parker? Yeah. And we talked about this the other day. The use of social media is also so great in this film. Um, mm-hmm. So we can keep going. Jonathan, thank you so much. You're doing awesome. Yeah. Start to see Explosion. some of the action some, sequences yeah. play right. out. And look uh, at this. All right. Uh, so, <laughs> first of all, I want to point out... Uh, Poor Ned Leeds, I think, is making a Lego Death Star. And, like, we're talking all the bells and whistles, different yeah. layers inside. I think he's making the Lego Death Star, and here's what I think is really cool about that, is that this is a Sony movie <laughs> who is is borrowing, or uh, has, has allowed Marvel to come on board to sort of borrow their license for Spider-Man, and Marvel must have said, you know, we're... Disney's our parent company. They happen to also own Lucasfilm. Yeah, so... Let's also throw in the Death Star. Like, why not? Because they're nerds. Of course they love Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, But the other interesting (laughs) thing, and and we've talked about this... Yeah. uh, That, like... Are they like a magnet school? Because that's how it is in Ultimate Spider-Man with Miles Morales, right? Yeah, because you have to think about it. I mean, uh, Peter Parker is maskless, yeah. uh, trying to basically sneak back into the room, mm-hmm. not mm-hmm. trying to wake up Ned. This has to be a shared room scenario yeah. going on. I don't know why he took his mask off trying to ceiling crawl, but hey, kids. For all we know, he lost it, and he was like hoping to like sneak back in. Exactly. That's and why then, he's on the ceiling. Yeah, and then uh oh, <laughs> Ned's up because he's working on his Death Star. Yeah, right. there has to be a slicker way to come back in, but let's let's look at. Oh yeah, you can't watch this part, right? <laughs> Do you, well, there, we want to talk about the suit here and how yes. kind of cool it is, how the suit functions. And one of the things that we've talked about is that Tony is the one giving him and upgrading his tech and plays a big mm-hmm. role like that. 
I get uncomfortable here because he's playing a 16-year-old, and this is uncomfortable for me, but I'm going to let you guys talk about it. <laughs> um, I, I love what they have done with the suit with this. Yeah. I mean, just the fact that the suit is basically hermetically sealed onto his body to make it that skin tightness, it makes you wonder what other bells and whistles that Tony Stark yeah. put into this suit. Well, because that's, that's an awesome feature. U USA Today I, um, ran a, a great little, just a quick little blurb with like some some interviews with like Feige and Holland and stuff like that. And Feige, the one quote they had from Feige was that he said, yeah, like the suit has all sorts of new bells and whistles. <laughs> and it's part, it's, they partially did that. Yes, for like how awesome it is the Spider-Man's got all these bells and whistles, mm -hmm. but it also was a character choice for Tony Stark to show that he just can't help himself. Oh yeah. He's got he's, it. He's Tony Stark. Oh. He's like, oh, you know what? I could also add this in. So I'm, you know, I may as well. Yeah. I mean, how you many know? upgrades yeah, do, do you think? W one of the questions that we had about the suits was, a, how many upgrades do you think that we'll see over the course of even just this one movie? Oof. Well, I mean, and then, I mean like especially the eyes, heading probably into the web wings, yeah, the eyes, we'll have the, the web wings, thing. Um, so the gauntlets will probably, so can and you know, in the cartoon, uh, the they Ultimate might be bulletproof too. Oh, that, like he's Wonder Woman all of a sudden. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like, like they, they all of a sudden are like, these are made of imp metal, and, Dis and DC's like, wait a wait minute. Wait a second. Uh, no, uh, 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 yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. So, the, yeah. the ultimate cartoon, he can electrify his webs. Like, he can be like, oh, oh yeah, shock, shock, right. shock, shock, shock. That's right, he can. So, which so I always thought was kind of cool. Jonathan, I mean, I would love for them to the Easter trailer back anything up. Thank and everything. You. Mm -hmm. Let's see some of that beautiful trailer. Oh, that's uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. So here they are yeah. at the Washington <laughs> Monument. Yeah, which uh, it seems like a lot of the trailer. Oh, okay, oh, so exactly. here's Vulture. Oh, this That's our, they beautiful. showed this in the Comic-Con footage. They showed just yeah. a little bit of it. This they showed a lot yeah. of the high gorgeous. school. This and then they showed a lot more high school in, in the Comic-Con trailer, yeah. A lot okay. more, and it did feel very John Hughes-like. And then yeah. they showed uh, just this yeah. tease, I believe, at the, very end. At the very end. It was like, Spider-Man, homecoming, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like, where is he right now? Is this Washington Monument? I haven't been inside the Washington Monument, I so don't I don't know. Like, that looks like a hotel to me. Maybe. Maybe it a looks hotel? like a hotel, like a really nice hotel. Yeah. Or like office building or something. Something yeah. like that. But oh God, the vulture costume is gorgeous. It's so good. It's, it's so, so good. good. And it, what's amazing about it is it looks practical. Like it looks like drone technology. Yeah. And if they really are like stealing Shatari technology as well mm -hmm. to work and working with the Tinker and all that, like yeah. that's I mean, look, and yeah. possible same energy source because of the color. Yeah, the color and everything. Yeah, exactly. So uh, mm. Let's keep going forward, but that does look great. We're going to see oh, yes. a little more. So here, and, and in this scene, he's saying, leave yeah. the, the Birdman alone. We have people to take care leave of that. Leave the Birdman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> leave Birdman <laughs> on purpose, alone. On purpose. Because <laughs> uh, he, he's a monster, the flying monster guy. Yeah. Here's an uh, important shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Because we have uh, Donald Glover. Glover. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about Well, we've about got Donald Glover and the Tinkerer. Yeah. Like, that's another important thing. Like, he's mm -hmm. the Tinkerer. So. Yeah. so let's talk about what we think this relationship is, because we've been talking about this when we were here earlier, and there's a couple of different theories about what we what's going on here, because we don't know who Donald Glover is playing yet. But you have to imagine you're not going to cast mm -hmm. him in a movie mm -hmm. if you're not going to use him in a big way down the line. Right, and well, especially with the Tinkerer, mm -hmm. just like this. So one thing is... is is it possible that this is, and if we can just go back to that shot, Jonathan, that's cool to hang on there. Thank you so much. You're awesome. Um, maybe there's a mentee-mentor relationship similar to Tony and Peter, and they're using mm -hmm. it as a other side of the coin. Yeah. Or that would that. that would be a very interesting uh, yeah. sort of foil to have like Tinkerer and whoever Glover is versus Iron Man. Uh, and and Peter Parker and yeah. Spider Man. So. Yeah. So something that we were spitballing around, uh, I believe, was it me that I can't remember? Is either you or me that said it that it's a possibility of it being Eddie Brock? So that's a, a possibility because he looks I it was somewhat Justin. athletic. It was Justin. Thank you, Justin. Where <laughs> um, where he's a he's a bit athletic. You know, he could definitely look college age. I mean, I think Donald Glover could do high school age, but definitely college age, especially with how everybody else looks. And it would be very, very interesting to have it be an Eddie Brock character, young Eddie Brock character, um, working with a tinkerer. And then Matt I took it even farther and possibly I have this totally theory. Totally accurately. Uh, I think that he is one of two characters, Hobie Brown, or Aaron Davis. Aaron Davis is the ultimate version of Hobie Brown, if I, if I did my research correctly, and that's the Prowler. 
And the Prowler is very similar to the Tinker in a lot of ways, but where the Tinker just is a smart guy and tinkered with a lot of stuff and made a lot of cool stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, the Prowler was always like, everyone was like, you're never going to amount to anything. Like, you can't do it. You're never going to, you're a nobody. What are you, why are you even doing this? Right. So he took it upon himself to teach himself how to do all that stuff and then turned to a life of crime as like one of the most successful cat burglars and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Here's right. what makes that interesting. Uh, that would fit in perfectly with a mentor mentee sort of like foil mm -hmm. to the other to the hero team, but also uh, the Prowler is the uncle to Miles Morales, and he's the yeah. one who steals the spider that bites Miles Morales and turns him into Ultimate Spider Man. Nice. So they yeah. could be setting that up. That would be awesome. I mean, lots yeah, of different theories. We want to hear about what mm -hmm. your theories are on social and in the comments uh, below. But yeah, I mean, this is certainly, this movie is, we were saying earlier, sinister start. Um, <laughs> so let's keep moving along. Which I have Lots no problem with. Mm -hmm. I want oh. sinister Love this shot, so yes. Aww. This is such a good shot. <laughs> So this, if, like if all if all they did was show the tinkerer shooting a laser with the vulture and then cut to this shot, I would be on board. <laughs> because this is like this is a comic so book comic panel. Book. This is such a comic book panel. Like mm -hmm. Spider Man using his powers to chill on the side of a building yep. with all of New York behind him. That's in every comic. That's beautiful. Yeah. So and I have to I mean, it's in we were... just about everything. I mean, Doctor Who uses it. You know, it's like yeah. oh, oh, who yeah. call out? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, uh, yes yeah, yes. I'm, I'm all. I'm also a nerd. Um, I'm all nerd love who? Yeah, um, and I just as a New Yorker, Justin and I were saying he's lived in New York. I'm from New York. Um, I just appreciate how this feels very much like mm -hmm. New York City. Yeah. It mm -hmm. feels very real to me here. So if yeah. we can move forward just a little bit. Now. Um, so here we are at the bus with the buses. And that's Michael right. Keaton. And there's uh, a different set we'll talk about with the international trailer for that bus scene. Right, where you can see a little bit more of what's going mm -hmm. on. But if, I got to say, if you guys um, want to play this back, he is so menacing in this scene. Mm -hmm. he's and he's great. saying, don't mess with me. I'm going to come and I'm going to kill everyone, you and everyone you love. We don't know yeah. who he's talking about. Yeah, we don't know who yeah. he's talking he's to. Talking he's talking to, pardon me. For, for all we know, he's like mean mugging one, one of the people on his own crew that yeah. maybe were... Uh, going to try to flip flop, yeah, you know. We're yeah. going to try to warn Spider Man or something yeah. like that. Be like, no, kid, no, <laughs> you're part of Vulture's crew. Yeah. That doesn't fly yeah. here, pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> and no, so I mean, he, yeah, he we, might be mean mugging Donald Glover. I mean, for certainly, all we know. certainly, the trailer is trying to make it out that he's saying that to Peter, to Peter Parker, Parker. which she know, probably that's is, but we don't know. Don't. But he's in a car. You know, like, it, it, mm -hmm. to me, it doesn't make sense that Peter Parker would be in the back. To me, it makes more sense that, like, someone from his crew would be in the back of the car. Yeah, maybe even Bokeem Woodbine. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah, my Who God, knows? Well, shocker, we're going to yeah. see We're gonna see that a little bit later in the um, in the international trailer. So if oh, we keep moving this, this is like a, it has a little bit more wear on it, possibly. Yeah. It's been in, it's been been in battle. In it's been in some fire. And uh, one of the things, and we can keep going as we talk about this, but one of the things that we were saying is that now, go back just a little bit. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Um, is that they've had to become supervillains because they're now in a world with superheroes. Mm -hmm. We think that maybe that shot where she's crying is some kind of hostage situation. Yeah. yeah. Because you see, um, uh, well, like earlier, I, I think it was earlier in the trailer where she's talking on the phone. She's like, Peter, what's with you? And they're they're going through a metal detector. Mm -hmm. They're on a field trip. Mm -hmm. They're they're dressed in their best. You know, this magnet school, they have the the outfits on their uniforms on. And in fact, I think she's yeah. standing next to Martin Starr, who plays a teacher. And that's how we know they're on a field trip. Because yeah, like they showed, in that scene, they showed mm -hmm. her on the phone with him as a teacher right behind her. And so. she's wearing the same three quarters red shirt. Yeah. Yeah. And the climactic, if we keep going ahead, I think the big probably climactic yeah, yeah. battle yeah. is gonna be at the homecoming dance because you know, the poor guy's just trying to go out and have a good time with <laughs> the lady and he just can't get a break. So this is the Staten Island ferry being torn to bits. And then this is Oh, I love oh, when they shot. do this. It's such a good shot. And we it's assume that that's shot. Vulture, right? Responsible for, for, the, for this. The assumption is that yes. it would be Vulture. That's yeah, a but it could also be huge, Tinkerer. Huge energy yeah. blast, though. That's yeah, because you have that energy. shot of energy or uh, Vulture flying through, and he's got the gun that he's shooting. So, like, yeah. it, for all we know, that's, yeah, see right there? Like, we've got. And they're I mean, all. It, and, no, and he's, you know he's what? flying he's, past cars. So, that, past cars, this so is, that is the This is totally the fairy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're all, it looks to be the same energy source that they're yeah. all using. Yeah. So so he's cutting the ferry in half for whatever reason. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, but like, So good, keep going to this next shot, Jonathan, where we see Spider-Man being awesome and being Spider-Man. Yeah. 
And he's, tr- he's just trying to hold, background, hold ish together. You can see the Statue of Liberty. There it is. That's such a beautiful shot. There That's it such is. a wonderful, awesome. We're in New York. Mm-hmm. So shot. we're on the Coast. Staten Island Ferry, and there is Lady Liberty. And this reminds me of one of the most popular uh, panels for Spider Man. It's like, it's nothing like it, but just like that sort of like sacrifice of mm-hmm. there's a panel where like an entire sewer is kind of falling down on Peter Oof. Parker, and he's like, like kind of like bending down underneath it and trying to lift it up. And like the things that he's saying in those panels are, it would be so easy for me to give up right now. And that's all I want to do. And like my muscles are failing on me, but with great power comes great responsibility. And yeah. I have I have to bear this weight. And like you, you see that exact same sort of theme being played out here where a boat, a giant... <laughs> Thousands of tons boat is falling yeah. apart, and, and he's, he's like, "Oh, I should together. give up, and I can't." Yeah, I just love it. And you know, and you know that he's not going to give up. Yeah, exactly. You know that he's not exactly, especially exactly. not, especially not with the Statue of Liberty looking. Yeah, that's the hero. I feel like that really is kind of the hero that we need now. Yeah, yeah. the guy who won't give up. Yeah, <laughs> moving forward just a little bit, that we're going to see. Oh, this last shot is so good. Beautiful, yeah. and right here. Oh, yes. you can like you said earlier. I love what you said about the bubbles. You can see the, you can see like the the thought bubbles are like the speech bubbles happening right here in this shot. Oh. This shot is so gorgeous, and oh. I love them, this. Obvi- I feel like and this is the point where Tony's showing him that's the turn in their relationship where mm-hmm. he's going, "All right, kid, like I got to show you respect and fight with you." Like, instead you know, of like keeping you down, trying to like, hold you back. Yeah, well, again, I don't think it's a holding back well, or a no. keeping a back. But he's a kid, and Tony yeah. Stark is trying to protect yeah. him. And like, I think, I think, like when when they first announced earlier last year, like last January, I think, when they're like, "Hey, we're gonna do Spider Man, and he's gonna be a young kid." Like, there were so many people that were so upset about that. Yeah, they were like, "No, no, no, we've already seen high school Peter Parker. Let's <laughs> can we please not do? Let's do college. Let's do adult." Like, I had a lot of friends who were saying that, mm-hmm. and the entire time they were saying that, I was going, "Yeah, but Marvel has never had a chance to do high school Peter Parker the way with they the to. freaking Avengers, and that relationship oh, yeah. is going to be a bunch of mentors who know better." And a mentee who's trying to yeah. be them. And that's exactly what we're seeing play out here. It's beautiful. And you've already seen him in a fight with him. And he yeah. held his he own. He held his own. So, he took down Giant Man with, I, with War Machine. Like, <laughs> come on. He can do it. Yeah. And yeah. and had all the quips while he was doing yeah. it. Yeah. You know, if he wasn't such a good heart, you wouldn't be able to tell him nothing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to move along. We're going to go set up the international trailer to very quickly just point out a couple of the things that we haven't seen Mm -hmm. in this trailer. But before, hang on one second, we're going to quickly go to social to see if we got any comments, clean up, anything, Justin? Yeah, uh, by the way, real quick, Matt, Spider-Man 33, classic issue. Octavius' lair falling on him. He's got to get it That's what it was, thank you. Great (laughs) classic issue. Uh, Two things that really jumped out on social. A lot of people talking about your Prowler theory. They really love the idea that we're going to tie in Miles Morales. My art view said, if they're going to tease a Miles Morales storyline, I'm going to (laughs) die. One thing a lot of people are talking about, which we hadn't thought about, a lot of people are saying the Vulture's suit wings are pretty similar to the S.H.I.E.L.D. helicarrier propulsion jets, which oh, makes us wonder, yes. is the Tinkerer a defective S.H.I.E.L.D. agent would Ooh. give him access to that Chitauri technology? Ooh. A lot of people putting their brains on that one. That holds water with me. There was, um, there was some rumors earlier this year, if I remember correctly, saying that the Tinkerer was a defunct Stark employee. And mm-hmm. Stark helped build the helicarriers. I think they even say mm-hmm. something about that in uh, uh, Winter Soldier and in... Yeah, think about uh, it. Stark was the one that yeah, went Stark, to try to Stark fix tech. it. Yeah. 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 So he knows how they work. Um, so presumably Stark stole the technology from Phine- Phineas Mason. And he's mm-hmm. like, no, screw you. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how good my technology actually is. So... I think that's actually that that holds water for me as well. I like and I I know that I keep returning to this, but I feel like it's always interesting if there is some kind of a re- relationship between the heroes and the villains. And it sometimes can feel a little bit forced, but if they had worked with Tony and yeah. he had decided yeah. not to work with them anymore and there was some kind of personal attachment um and rivalry there, I think that is interesting, particularly yeah. if he's if he wasn't saying, I'm going to come after everyone you love mm-hmm. to Peter, mm-hmm. but to Tony. 
mm-hmm. about Peter. That's kind of interesting to me. And they go after him at his school. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Let's take a look yeah, we gotta, at— We got to know who's in that back seat. We got to know who's God. in that back seat. Um, so let's take a look at the international trailer. Hashtag who's just in the back. Who's, who's in the back? Hashtag who's in the back. <laughs> Baby, get back. I am so tired. It's late. Okay, so we're seeing a little bit at the start of this trailer, obviously, a callback to Civil War. We've talked about this before, but overall, we're seeing a lot of familiar footage. It feels differently. It's paced a little bit differently. The music's, the music's much a little different. bit different. I'm sorry. Can we pause it real quick? I'm so sorry. Sure. I just had a Yeah, thought. it's anything you want. Yeah. Uh, the shot that I was talking about loving so much where he's chilling outside mm-hmm. and on the phone— we just saw that shot. Yep, right yeah. there. So my thought is that he lives next to that. And when he's outside on the phone, he's trying to get away from Aunt May or something like ah, that. Where he's like, oh, I've got to talk to Stark or whatever, whoever I'm talking to. You know, yeah. like he's back yeah. home. Yeah. So anyway, it looks like this is his neighborhood. Yeah. I'm so I'm glad I brought you guys here. World. <laughs> That's a nice call out. So if we keep moving forward, yeah, this, if we, you just notice in general that the international trailer is sort of feels more like this is an Avengers movie. It's mm-hmm. even riffing at the end on the theme we, mm-hmm. that yeah. Matt pointed out. Mm-hmm. It, you know, it feels more like this is an action Avengers movies that you love. The U.S. trailer is going like, hey, wouldn't it be cool if you had a high school John Hughes-esque movie that was yeah. also a comic book? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's because, like, internationally, like, comedy is always going to be relative to yes. the country where it's yeah. born. Yeah. So, like, it's harder to play, like, comedies across seas. It's not Although, possible. everybody's going to laugh at this. Yes. Everyone's going to love everybody's that. Everybody's yeah. going to love that. And he says here... Some little... jokes are universal. Yes. <laughs> Be like, no, 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 that's not a hug. I'm just opening oh, the door oh, for you. okay. Yes, Bokeem. Okay. There he is. Take it. Yeah, and we and we. You, this is your guy. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's great. Um, because uh, he's he's the shocker, and what it's showing here is like um, when when you look uh, online, uh, and then back in September, it was like September fifth mm-hmm. or sixth or something like that, where they actually leaked uh, the shocker pictures, and mm-hmm. it was shocker mm-hmm. as in like shocker, shocker, and you yeah. see he and you see here good. he looks so good, but it looks like street level good. Like this is um, mm-hmm. this is attainable. Somebody could actually make this and then walk outside the door with it. Yeah. And then you see this, and it's not the full shocker outfit. Uh, he he just kind of looks like an, an enforcer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but he's, and it seems like he's trying it out, maybe for the first time. Yeah. And it's in this schoolyard uh, with these school buses where earlier we saw, you know, Spider-Man gets uh, um, smashed through a mm-hmm. school bus with mm-hmm. it. I think one of the things that you said earlier to Matt was that maybe his, it was going to evolve. I, I, did you guys watch S.H.I.E.L.D.? Because yeah. people, mm-hmm. like, everywhere had access to the tech. It seemed mm-hmm. like anybody mm-hmm. could be making Everyone's stuff. Everyone's got it. Yeah. You know? Everyone when you it. saw yeah. it, was everywhere. <laughs> it was everywhere. It was everywhere. It was everywhere. So if we keep going, but this is a great first look at him, and he's obviously... Oh, okay. Yeah. I this. think this is a very important thing to address right mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. Because we see uh, Michael Keaton, presumably Adrian Toom, since he's the vulture... Uh, we see him saying, hey, guys, like, what does he say? The, the world is changing, so we, we got to change, change, change with it. So, yeah. And it's what you said uh, while uh, we were escalation off the air, of force. It's escalation of force. So yeah. it's like, and that goes along with what John Watts, again, in the USA Today article that they had out today, he said something about, because they asked him, why did you choose Vulture? Because you've got Venom, you've got so many other characters, why Vulture? And his answer was, one of the things that he liked about him is, he's just a normal guy. He's just a dude out there trying to rob some banks, but now he's got this jerk who has spider powers stopping him. So he's got to up his game. And to, like, the director, John Watts, he felt like the vulture was represented someone who was like, you know what? I'm just going to go make myself a super suit, or I'm going to find a way to get one yeah. so that I can take on this jerk and continue to rob banks. Yeah. You yeah. know? So he, like, he basically was saying, I feel like this is a normal, like, an actual progression that within my universe could happen. It's yeah. not... He got superpowers from a meteorite or a spider No, no, bite. no, no. He's, he has a suit. Yeah, he's a normal criminal. And he's ruthless. Yeah, and if you know. uh, anybody's not familiar with the term uh, escalation of force, it deals with uh, 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 cops have to deal with it where it's like, oh, if we have uh, semi-automatics, criminals get automatics. We get yeah. automatics. Uh, they get machine guns and, and so yeah, on. So it's, it's, yeah, I mean, they, they say just, that in like the Dark Knight at the end. They're like, oh, they get, they get armor-piercing shells. Yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> You know. um, I so. think that, that that's at, so spot on. That's such a spot on assessment of what's happening here. And then also I think, and we can keep going as we talk about this because a lot of this is very familiar what but we yeah, saw like in you the see, last like, trailer. After he says that, you see the vulture. So I think that's the trailer's yeah. proving the point of that quote. 
episode. So, And I think the other interesting thing about the vulture as the villain in this is because to your earlier point, Matt, we're seeing a young um, Peter Parker and the vulture is an older villain mm -hmm. um, and one who has some feelings about that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I don't know if that's going to play out here, but I certainly think it might. Yeah. Here... Oh yeah, there's a speculation on this. It looks like yeah, it looks sure like there's a those. Ferris wheel in the back, so this might be a beach. Uh, very or possible. Or like Coney Island or something, something like that. Something like yeah. that. So if we keep but moving. But the, the the weird thing is that like it almost looks like the suit from Civil War. It like well, it's so hard. To, it's so it hard means, to tell. It's like the older suit. Yeah, like the suit yeah, that falls like, out of the. Yeah, the one where he's like, oh no, no, there. you don't yeah. have to see that. I don't so. think that's what that is. Unless, I just had this idea, what if Stark is tracking him in that other suit? Ooh, I would yeah. be tracking him too if I was telling like him. He, like he, he finds out, because he, he did that in the original Civil War. Yeah. Like, Stark, uh, Stark gave him the, the Iron Spider suit, but then taught himself, like he used an algorithm to get spider, spider, uh, Peter Parker's spider sense down, and then upload that to his Iron Man suit. And then he used that to beat... The, the 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 stuffing out of <laughs> out of uh, Spider Man, so he had to change back to his old suit. So I wonder if maybe he finds something out, but I don't know. Or it could just be a hoodie. It or it could, could just, just be a hoodie. hoodie. He's on the it beach without a suit. It looked a little bit like a hoodie. Yeah. So if we oh, see this yeah. is tying together, and this goes back into that whole hostage situation thing. She's wearing the same you know three quarters red shirt uh, that we saw her crying in earlier. Uh, she's falling down an elevator shaft. We know that Spider Man uh, braces himself against that elevator shaft. Yeah. To, and then right you see here, in the yeah. background, they're wearing the same uh, outfits that they were wearing yeah. before. Out Presumably, on the field like they're probably on like the, wa the Washington yeah. Monument or something, and, and then she's crying because she yeah, just got saved. Since it's an elevator, you would think Washington Monument because, yeah, yeah but as if, opposed to the ferry that we saw. If you before. are just 50% of a Spider Man fan, this scene immediately calls back Gwen Stacy yes. yeah, and the it, Green Goblin. Yes. And so you immediately see love interest being Peril. saved yeah. from falling. Like she makes it, but like, but still, it's still there, and like, it's still just like, oh it's no, Gwen Stacy, like, <laughs> Gwen Stacy, no, 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 <laughs> it's too soon, yeah. Oh, and then you know so what? We you can kind keep of hope, moving a little kind of, bit forward. Mm -hmm. Jonathan, it's a possibility. Thank you so oh, much. Mm. I don't think they'll do it. They can't do it. It's a it's it's a John Hughes movie. You can't yeah. kill the love interest. No, they're not going to kill her. In the no, 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 no. She. I don't think that's. No, they're I don't not know. going there in no, this. No, no, no. no they she can't. Like, not, yeah. Yeah, not with how safe. this is structured. Yeah, but you're right. It is a callback, and it does. And here's that oh, shot again. It so does make you think of that moment and, and and still I think you're right even subconsciously that sense of immediate danger and peril mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. hey Justin anything else on social Any yeah more? actually you know it's really interesting firstly uh going back to you Matt uh and that talk about it being authentic New York I checked on Google Maps that great scene where he's hanging out on the catwalk that is in fact that's looking pretty similar to 45th and Queen's Boulevard so yeah. I'm pretty sure that is a location shot nice. um a lot of talk about <laughs> is Vulture the ringleader of this group or is there a bigger bad? Is Tinkerer calling the shots? People are curious about that. Here's, hmm. I have, here's what I think is going on. I think there's two bad guy groups. Uh, I think that uh, Adrian Toomes of Vulture is the leader of a cabal. And I think part of that cabal is uh, Shocker. There's probably a second guy. Uh, um, like we've got, I can't remember the guy's name. Well, but there was another, Logan about? Marshall Green was mm -hmm. also oh. rumored to be a villain. And we didn't see any any of him in the, oh, that's right. in the trailer, but he was rumored to be a villain. So my guess is uh, there's Vulture, uh, Shocker, and another guy. A couple folks on social are saying in that scene where we've got the blast with Donald Glover, some mm -hmm. folks are saying that might be Logan Michael Green. It's hard to tell. Oh, really? Okay. That's well, I, yeah, that looks go. like Michael Chernus, but oh, okay. Uh, but it looked, it, yeah, it looked like Ch Michael Chernus to me as yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, it so looked like to me, thought that but, was the Tinkerer eh, and so, Donald Glover as yeah. someone. Yeah. But I think that that's the other thing. I think that the Tinkerer is another group. I don't think that both of them are necessarily going against Spidey. I think they're setting up Tinkerer and Donald Glover to be a bigger threat for ultimately, like ultimately, two and three. I, I kind of, I yeah, I kind of see. I like the the theory of it being where uh, the Tinkerer is going for Tony Stark, mm -hmm. and if you know, why wouldn't he know that Spider Man? He he would recognize mm -hmm. Stark technology, yeah. so he'd be like, oh, here's a way to get at Tony Stark. Mm -hmm. So it's not that he's specifically going for Spider Man. He just doesn't want Tony Stark to have anything. Yeah. Oh, that's so, an interesting way to look. While at that. with the Vulture, it yeah. would be like, hey, I'm a criminal. I want stuff. So I'm going to get out of my way because I'm getting this stuff. Yeah. I will kill you but with everything I, that you he, hold dear. He also has, like, 
a history of having um, bitter feelings and a beef with his former partner. And I was like, it'd be a fun twist if they just made that about Stark Industries, yeah. you know, and had the beef with Stark Industries. I don't know if that's going to be it because I think you guys are right. These are regular criminals that are having to escalate um, to match the superheroes. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. but I, I do think that, like, the Tinkerer and Vulture are working together. Yeah. And yeah. I think that maybe Tinkerer is like, hey, I'm going to help you. I'm going to give you this technology. I'm going to make these suits for you. Just cut me in on your your crimes or whatever. But also, as a part of our deal, I want you to take on Stark, yeah. like what you're saying, yeah. or I need you to help me take on Spider-Man or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? So I think, I don't think that he's a, like, a big, big bad. I don't think he's over no. Vulture. I think they're kind of parallel in working together, like, uh, it's, laterally. It's kind of like, oh, okay. So it's kind of like with Buffy, I see him more <laughs> as the mayor. <laughs> The Tinkerer? Uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. see the Tinkerer more as the mayor, and I see Vulture more as Eliza Dishku's character. Kind of yeah, like an enforcer bad, type. Five you know, by five. To, to do like a quick rough... Five by five, five. To do like a quick rough analogy with it, with yeah, what I meant. Not working tears. directly under or taking orders from. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But that way. Yeah. All right. That's a really interesting <laughs> analogy. I always like a Buffy analogy. You guys have been fun because we got in Buffy, we got in Doctor Who, two of yeah. my favorite all, all things. Her, into I'm our just, my brain is just, just a thing. mass. It's Thank like, you so things. much for your incredible um, wisdom and insight and knowledge. It is massive and impressive from all three of you and from our chat. Thank you guys for staying up late with us. This has been a long deep dive, but we appreciate your patience. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, Marquia. Yeah. Glad to be here. Yeah. Justin, yeah, final word. Uh, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see this thing when it comes out. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. I think we're all pretty excited, too. Feeling good? Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. One last thing. I hope an Easter egg is the chameleon is like the drama teacher. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Done. That would I'm be done. awesome. <laughs> Call back to Spider-Man 1. <laughs> Mic truck from Murkia. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. It has been wonderful to be here with you. Please do click right here for more internets and Screen Junkies news.